Welcome to today's Merchant Webinar session. Today, we'll be highlighting the main sections within the Merchant Interface, as well as the important aspects of your account that you should be aware of as you're starting to grow your affiliate program on the network. If you have any questions during today's session, please feel free to ask them in the chat box, and we'll answer as many of them as we can during and after the presentation. If you'd like to review your approved affiliates, you can go to the Affiliates tab and click Affiliate List. Each affiliate's ID and website will be listed in their tile, and you can click a specific affiliate to go to their affiliate info page, where you can assign them a personalized commission rate, view their 30-day stats for your program, and more. You'll also find each affiliate's feedback score displayed on their tile, and this score is compiled from feedback that merchants have left for the affiliate. You can click the Advanced Filters and Sorting button on the left side of the page to filter your affiliate list view, and you can search for a specific affiliate by using the search bar at the top of the page. Lastly, you can download your affiliate list by clicking the Download Affiliate List link in the top right corner of the page to review various information related to your affiliates, such as their email addresses. If you click the Pending Affiliates tab, you can review all of your pending affiliate applications. You can review each pending affiliate's feedback score, bio, and website to determine whether or not you think they'd be a good fit for your program. You can manually approve or decline an affiliate by clicking the check mark or the circle backslash symbol and clicking the red update button at the bottom of the page. The last tab is the auto approval tab. Approval rules allow you to automatically approve or decline affiliates applications based on certain conditions being met. For example, you can set up approval rules to automatically approve or decline applications based on the affiliates listed country, promotional methods, feedback score, and more. Feel free to reach out to our team if you need any help setting up an approval rule for your program. As I mentioned earlier, you can download your affiliate's email addresses if you'd like to contact them outside of the interface. However, you do have the ability to send a newsletter to your affiliates within the interface by clicking Affiliates, Send a Newsletter. We generally recommend sending a newsletter at least once a month to let your affiliates know what's going on with your store, your program, seasonal product changes, program bonuses, recently uploaded creatives, and more. When you're composing your newsletter, you'll find macros on the left-hand side of the page, which will populate the data for each individual affiliate receiving your newsletter. You'll also find creative information where you can add various banners you've uploaded in your account directly to your newsletter. When you're previewing your newsletter, you can click the send yourself a test button to send a test of the newsletter to the email address on file with your account. Please note that any macros or affiliate links that are populating with affiliate specific information will not populate in your test email or preview since you're not an affiliate, but it will populate when the live newsletter is sent. Lastly, merchants have the ability to create manual transactions for their affiliates from within the merchant interface by clicking Affiliates, Manual Transaction. There are many scenarios when it may be appropriate to create a manual transaction for an affiliate in your program, such as an order that your affiliate referred that did not track in your account, you'd like to give one of your affiliates a one-time bonus commission payment, or you're participating in a paid placement with an affiliate on the network. Whatever the reason may be, creating a manual transaction is very simple. All you need to do is choose the affiliate that will receive the commission payment, 
specify the sale amount and the commission rate, and click Submit Transaction to push the manual transaction through in your account. As a reminder, the share of sale transaction fee applies to manual transactions as well. Thank you for taking the time to join our merchant webinar. We hope this information will help you continue to set up and optimize your accounts on the network. If you have any additional questions related to the tools or features available within your account, please don't hesitate to submit a ticket by going to the Help Center. You can access the Help Center on the left side of the home page. Once your ticket has been submitted, a member of our merchant development team will be more than happy to provide further support.